they won't. Do you want me to do it? Would that be helpful? Mm. It, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get the cord. Like, you know, it, whoever has the. Okay. You got it? Okay. Oh, maybe you go. Okay. Good? Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. All right, whoever wants to start. Uh, I would so. Yeah. Do we go so? Yes, sir. Hey, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, this is what we are. We're going to talk about uh, Joshua Zimmerman. Joshua Zimmerman, Zimmerman is on the run. He uh, he exploited uh, a little, uh, he exploited a flaw in the building design and he escaped from the courthouse. Um, he walked out through an alley, and uh, we were on his trail within about ten minutes. Uh, I'm going to clear up some things. Uh, there's stuff circulating that he uh, changed clothes. Joshua Zimmerman did not change any clothes. That man walked out of the courthouse in a pair of underwear, a t-shirt, and some shower shoes. Uh, he walked across the street and called a ride just that quick. Um, and um, time was of an essence. He, everything worked out for this individual. So the notion that he had help, that's false. The notion that he had an extra set of clothes, that's false. This is a career criminal. He knew what he was doing, and he exploited I guess you say a soft spot in the courthouse, and he benefited from it. Did he wear the shower shoes to, to court that day? Yes. All yeah. inmates, when they're transporting to and from court, they have shower shoes on. That's what they're issued when they go to jail. Sheriff, I noticed a bunch of different Mississippi cars outside and a Memphis Germantown car outside. Are they here for this investigation, or is that something else? Uh, that's something else. Okay. Where have you been tracking uh, Zimmerman so far? Uh, I don't want to release that right now. We're moving into phase two of our investigation, and that is critical, um, and it's crucial that we, we keep that confidential. But I will say this here. Uh, there's a reason why we withheld a lot of information why this is going on. Um, when we're doing investigation, especially when it comes to looking for uh, an inmate, an individual inmate who has the potential to be violent, uh, we have guys that are out there in the streets establishing uh, connections, working long hours, dealing with the most hardened criminals uh, in this area. And anytime someone got on TV and talked about this case, I said a prayer because they were endangering the lives of our guys that are embedded out there in, in the community trying to locate this guy. Also, it put the public at risk. So that's why we waited a while before we started talking about this because our guys were out there establishing networks. And uh, any everybody that got on TV, everybody that talked about this, uh, that's reckless. And uh, it really, really uh, put our guys, exposed our guys. And, uh, that's the last thing I want these guys to do. They're working so hard uh, to get a phone call that one of our guys was injured because uh, uh, some information was released while they were out there working uh, this case. So uh, this was an ongoing investigation. It was a very intense investigation, and these guys have put in a lot of hours, a lot of hours uh, to locate this guy. And uh, we're moving into phase two of our investigation. Uh, all I need to say here, I mean, Zimmerman, if you're out there and you hear this, turn yourself in because we're going to find you. And I promise you, we're going to put your gluteus maximus in a cell by yourself. That's just how that works here. Sheriff, I don't know. If, tell me if this is accurate or not accurate because you just told us about inaccurate information that is out there. Was it accurate that he had shackles on that, and that he was able to remove those? Yes, Zimmerman, I will ask that. Zimmerman is a career criminal. Uh, that part of the investigation is still ongoing. Uh, but I know for a fact that these inmates spend countless number of hours trying to defeat the handcuff system. This guy has been in and out of the system for years. He's been in our system uh, and to that courthouse six times, uh, but he has been in our custody for 260 days. Uh, this is one thing I want to relay. The fact of the matter that we're talking about this individual escaping should bring comfort to everybody in DeSoto County because anywhere else in this country, this individual already been released. But the fact of the matter that he escaped, that should send, that should send everybody else across the country and shockwaves across this country that in DeSoto County, you get here, we're going to keep you. We have transported 24,702 uh, inmates back and forth since 2017, back and forth to court. We've only had one escape, and that is this guy, and that is one too many. Our guys work too hard. They take this personally, and I promise you, we're going to find him. You said that you walked out and he got in a vehicle. Do you have any idea whose vehicle that was? Is this somebody that he had conspired with ahead of time to help him escape? This guy has no connections in his community. When he walked across that street with those pajamas on, I promise you nobody actually knew that those were pajamas. Uh, he found an individual that was back behind uh, one of the gas stations, and he's, he's a charismatic guy. He asked this guy and said, hey, I just got in a fight with my wife. Can you give me a ride to Walmart? 
This guy said that I, I'm going to Memphis. He said that's even better. So it was a good Samaritan that gave this guy a ride is how he got to Memphis. Everything lined up for Zimmerman. Everything lined up. It was just that day. 260 days of planning. It was just that day that everything lined up for this individual. But I promise you this, we're going to find it. Well, how do you think he got out of Memphis, you know, on the next leg of his trip to wherever he is now? Man, I'm not going to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you say more about the design flaw in the courthouse and if anything's been done to uh, That has already been corrected. Okay. And I'm not going to say anything about it because, like I said, we're still using that building. Mm -hmm. But it has been corrected. Can you talk a little bit about his Zimmerman's charges and just what kind of criminal we're dealing with here? Well, the city of South Haven brought him in. I think it was a carjack and attempted murder. Uh, but he has some charges out of Texas also. So he has the potential to be violent. Uh, and that's one of the things why we didn't talk a lot about it, because we did not want to endanger the lives of our officers that was out there embedded in, in, uh, in, in society, in public, and also the public. So, um, yes, he's got the potential to be violent. Uh, that's just where we are now. But, I, I, you know, we talk about... Um, you know, I'm not frustrated by any sense. I'm disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Uh, but we don't focus on the disappointment here. We focus on the lessons learned, and that's what we're focusing on. One of the things that we've already talked about, if an inmate is going to go uh, to court now, under those yellow jumpsuits and those red jumpsuits, they're going to be wearing Speedos. Because I promise you, if Zimmerman had taken his warm, that, that jumpsuit off and walked across the street in Hernando with a, with a pair of Speedos or a thong on, somebody would have called us. I tell you right now, the north is a direction the South is a way of life. And the individual walked across the street with speedos on, we would have gotten that call. Now, somewhere else in the country, probably not. But here, yes. I mean, that pretty much seals it up. Y'all have anything else? Um, Can I, we talk I, about the reward? Well, Chair, do we have, is there any ongoing investigations on how he got out of the handcuffs and what comes next? Uh, like I stated earlier, Zimmerman is a career criminal. He's a professional. These inmates study. They, they have access to the Internet. They study, read how to defeat uh, handcuff systems, the mechanism. So uh, that part of our investigation is still ongoing, but uh, I still, I just want to emphasize, this guy is a professional. At how long had he been missing before you realized, and how did you, your team realize that he was gone? Head count. He had a six minute head start on us. And when you are trying to get away and you're desperate, every second counts. Mm -hmm. So he had a six, and we locked this city down less than uh, eight minutes. This city was on lockdown. Zimmerman got out here at seven. Um, U.S. Marshals said over the weekend that they had information that he was in Memphis. Was that information based on the Good Samaritan driving him to Memphis? Was he spotted at any other businesses? We did have someone send us a picture, allegedly, from a Memphis business. As I stated earlier, we're moving into phase two of our investigation, and, and I apologize. I cannot answer that question right now. But you believe that he's out of the Memphis area? We can't release that. We're not going to release that information. information right now. Okay. Do you believe that he's getting help from anybody? I know you said he doesn't have any connections in this area. I'm not going to answer that question right now. Okay. Sheriff Talco, do we know? Can you explain what phase two is? No, ma'am. I can't go okay. into phase two. All I can tell you about phase two is, is Zimmerman, if you're reading this and you're seeing this, you need to turn yourself in. Mm -hmm. Turn yourself in because we are going to find you. Phase two is starting, and we're going to locate it. Uh, were there any um, guards that were reprimanded during the time when he was... Ma'am, our guards are the best in the country. I just read you some numbers off about what these guys have done. And, and like I said, that's one too many. But 24,702 transport since 2017 and one. These guys are true professionals. And uh, this is where I look at this here. When everything goes right in this department, those guys are going to get the credit. But when things go wrong, all right, the buck stops with me. So that's how we do things. I back our guys up 100% because they're the best in the country. I will put this department up against any department across this country because I know how professional these guys is. You, we, we probably get, since I've been in office, we've probably had 392 attempts. Those are fastballs thrown at us. 392 attempts to escape. We have been able to knock out 390 out of the park. Two fastballs got across the plate. That's fine. We're going to look at them. We're going to adjust our stance. We're going to adjust our grip. We're going to improve our eye and, and hand coordination, and we're going to knock the rest of them out of the park. That's what we are. We're going to learn from this. We're not going to focus on the disappointment whatsoever. Do you think there's any danger to the public at this point? Um, the, I would say this here. Zimmerman has the potential to be violent, but the fact of the matter that he escaped should send shockwaves to everybody in this country because there are more violent criminals that are being released into the public than this guy. So should people be on the lookout? Like, what should people be doing that live in DeSoto County to keep themselves safe while he's still on the run and we don't know where he is? I can assure the people in DeSoto County that you are safe. I can assure the people in DeSoto County that 
the people that are working in the law enforcement agencies here, whether it be the DeSoto County Sheriff's Office or all five of the municipalities, we will protect you. Bottom line, they have no reason to be concerned. Go by and do your daily business. Uh, we, we're, we're starting phase two of our investigation, and I, I promise you we're going to locate this guy. The Chief DA's office has expressed uh, frustration of the lack of communication after the incident. Do you, is that, do you agree with that? Is Sir, that, what was that question? The DA's office has expressed uh, frustration over a lack of communication. Uh, I, I want to thank the DA's office for uh, um, uh, adding an additional $5,000 to the U.S. Marshal $5,000. But I will say this here. We're true professionals. When we have an ongoing investigation going on, we don't talk about it. If you talk about an ongoing investigation where you're, the lives of your men, men are at stake, that's reckless. So that communication, the DA or whoever wants to talk about this case, they can call us and talk about it. But the bottom line is, it's, I'm going to protect our people, and our people are working hard. It is. Just, I don't think the public realize that when these guys are out there four or five o'clock in the morning sleeping, establishing networks with people, they're putting their lives at, 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 at risk. And uh, I can't thank them enough for that. They're putting their lives at risk for the people in DeSoto County. And that means a lot to me, and it should means a lot to every DeSoto County that these guys are willing to do that for. Thank you, Cheryl. Can, can you name all the agencies that are involved in the investigation? Are There's a ton. <laughs> There's a ton. We, we're working with uh, tons of our, our partners, uh, not only all our municipal partners in, in, in Shelby County, but also our municipal partners here, several federal agencies involved. Um, we, we, we are, we're making progress. We're Local, making progress. site, and federal. Are there any distinguishing factors you can talk about that could help somebody locate him? Uh, he's got tattoos. Um, you know, he's, um, you know, he says he's of Islamic faith, uh, if you want to look at that. But uh, as of right now, the tattoos, we don't know if he shaved his beard off or he he's, he's still has his beard. But we've got those pictures out uh, both ways. Um, but as of right now, he's not from here. And there's people in, the, in, in, in not only the Memphis community area, but the Shelby County area. Uh, they know what their environment is about. They know the people that live in the environment. Somebody will, will, will recognize this guy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank good? you. Yeah, good. good. Two shots or just go. Thank you, sweetheart. You're I really welcome. appreciate you doing that. That was a nice.